the math does not math and the logic does not logic. Okay? There's no biracial rapper in this. No logic. You get me? What now? What now, homie? Where are NFTs? What is it worth, bro? I hate to say I told you so. Stay woke. Okay? Keep your firmware updated. Okay, people, back again with another one. Bong Kakat reacts. And today we're going to be talking about Boogie, Boogie2988. Okay. So the thing about Boogie is you got to understand where it starts. If you go on the YouTube and search this guy, you're going to find a lot of videos about him. He has caused a lot of problems. Okay. And recent, recently, this started with sort of like, like, like most things these days, it started with crypto. Okay. So this guy, he promoted some crypto scam. He knew it was a scam. He was, you know, if you know CoffeeZilla, CoffeeZilla is a YouTuber who confronts these YouTubers, right? These scammers, right? And he confronted Boogie. And Boogie knew it was a scam. He knew it was a scam. He let his own fans, you know, get scammed anyway. And he keeps giving the excuse that he has cancer and he has to pay for, you know, treatment. So, okay, this is a tweet from Keemstar. He says here, Boogie went on steroids that could cause cancer in the blood years ago. Warn of the dangers. And two years ago, after he lost all his money in crypto, he went to the doctor and had high red blood cells indicating he may have cancer blood. Before he got any confirmation, he made a YouTube video announcing he had cancer. Okay. Two years later, he still doesn't have the confirmation from the doctor, but he's been telling everyone he does and used it for sympathy multiple times, including by the way, using it as an excuse to run, a not run a crypto scam, but promote a, crypt a crypto scam. Okay. This is wild, bro. Like I, I was following this drama and he, okay, he can use that excuse, even though that's no excuse to scam your followers. But then this is, you know, exposed that he never had any confirmation of cancer. So this is wild, bro. A YouTuber we accused of a crypto scam just got accused of faking cancer. You are faking your cancer diagnosis, Boogie. Despite being offered a total of $80,000 to prove everyone wrong if he could show his diagnosis to a private third party, he refused to do so, which is annoying because publicly he uses his cancer as a shield from any wrongdoing. In fact, when I confronted Boogie on his crypto scam, that's one of the reasons he used. I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills and I'm fighting cancer. And more specifically, why he had to promote the coin and couldn't pay back $5,000. The money's already spent. That's, it's, it's, at, it's at Mercy Hospital right now. It's gone. I used it to pay debts. I'll be honest. I have no idea if Boogie is faking cancer. I also don't understand why he wouldn't just show it if he had a diagnosis, but either way, we won't know without an actual doctor involved. So I won't speculate on that, but what I can do is confront Boogie on this second claim, the cancer and medical bills, because I found out a few days ago that these statements were false. I know this because Boogie gave us a timeline of when he got paid in the first place. So when were you paid the 5,000? Five days ago. Later, I verified with Boogie this payment occurred on June 19th. And when Boogie said all the money was gone on June 26th. Here's what you need to understand about this Boogie guy. He is a pathological liar. Okay, bro. And by the way, he used to be a, a big YouTuber back in the day. I'm talking like every time he posted a video, it will be hundreds and thousands of views. I even was a, as a viewer back in the day, even though I, I did not understand you know why he was famous in the first place but it was kind of like positive positive content it was like he had positive content about his life and all that it was kind of like inspiring i guess that gives us a window of time where he should have receipts for about five thousand dollars of medical expenses boogie when i asked agreed to share these expenses with me and the following conclusions are based on him providing accurate records which i know is a dubious idea but when he shared what he had it fell far short of even what i was expecting he gave me two receipts for the time period one for 154 dollars the other for a copay of 60 dollars a total of 214 dollars by the time we talked so where did the rest of the money 
Holy F, bro. This boogie guy has no shame. He's shameless, bro. Just scamming his own fans. At this point, you know, stay woke. I'm telling you, stay woke. Especially about the influencers that you worship. Stay woke. Get to know them. Re do your research. Okay, don't get scammed, bro. As long as there's people willing to, to be scammed, these predators will always be out there. Go. Well, Boogie claimed that it was really intended for medical expenses after we spoke. And that when he said the money was gone, he meant it colloquially and then accused me of lying. You wait, wait, liar. that's on June you 28th. Liar. That's on June 28th. You showed me a payment for 550 on June 28th, which is after we talked, after you told me the money was all gone. Yes! Have you never heard of the colloquialism? Yeah, that money's all gone. It's all spent. I have a specific thing I need to do with it. Have you never heard that colloquialism? Use fucking Google then! It's very common! I'm saying... Nah, he's going wild on the phone, bro. <laughs> he's going wild. He's raging, bro. I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. I'm not I can used tell. To this yes. Yes. Okay, so I have a big problem with this because looking back at what Boogie said. Bro, why would you say something like that? I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. Whoa. You're not used to this level of scrutiny? Why? Because you want to scam with no one, you know, fact checking you? You want to keep on scamming? Coffeezilla is not going to let people scam, okay? That's his whole job. Is to expose scammers. He said it wasn't just the money's gone, which already means very specifically the money's gone. But he also says the money's at Mercy Hospital right now, which is a colloquialism I've never heard before. If you mean it's not at Mercy Hospital. It's at Mercy Hospital right now. But even being as charitable as I can, adding in everything he calls medical expenses outside of our time window, like there was an $1,000 credit card payment. Okay, we'll just say that's medical, right? He's still only able to get me to about $2,500 worth of medical expenses for the month. Most of it not to Mercy Hospital, which I wondered about. Did he need the fatty coin then from where I was sitting instead of having spent the money on medical bills? It looked like he saved most of it because of his starting and ending bank balances for the month. Wait, wait, you're taking, you paid about $2,500. Like you're, you're set. You're also talking about money you haven't spent, which you're trying to add up to $3,000. That's not the $5,000 you said was gone. And then you're taking. Well, like it was 4,000 when we started this conversation. But of course you're lying about that too. Boogie, can you explain exactly how you started the month with $800, ended it with 5,000. You're saying the $5,000 you made from a crypto scam has nothing to do with it. I saved my. Zoink, Gotti, you get me? Ass off. That's right. The $5,000 Boogie made from a crypto scam has nothing to do with the $5,000 sitting in his bank account right now. That's there because he pinched his pennies. Now, when I pointed out Boogie could have refunded the scam if he wanted to, he freaked out and told me he's got a mortgage to pay. Boogie, you need to pay that $5,000 back. You need to find a way to refund oh, people. If I do, I won't have it's no not spent. You, you have $5,000. No, well, this is, this is, uh, is, bro. This is what it's like dealing with Zionist comments all day. The logic does not logic, okay? I spent it. He scammed people out of money. You tell him you got to return their money to the people. And he said, I spent it. What do you want me to do? That's wild, bro. That is wild. What about there's no empathy? What about the, the poor people that you scam from? That was probably their rent money. Zero. Em this guy has zero empathy, bro. This is some colonizer-ish, bro. It's, it's the logic, does, the math does not math, and the logic does not logic, okay? There's no biracial rapper in this. No logic. You get me? You won't have mortgage. But this is totally shifting the goalposts. Remember, the reason we were told the money was at Mercy Hospital right now, that was initially, now it's because he's got a mortgage. But also, Boogie had showed me his income for the last month. And it looked to me like the podcast is waiting for his mortgage. And so I asked, wouldn't... Bro, that's how pathological liars work. They just keep shifting the goalposts, okay? There's some NPC-ish, bro. They, they just keep, you know, changing, changing, and changing. That's how it works. 
expecting that money pay for your mortgage? Boogie said, this month it wouldn't because he had to go on a special trip and his co-host was withholding all the money for that month. Do you understand? I'm You're not getting a pot. Where's your podcast payment coming from? You got that on the 30th. I, 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 it's being fucking kept so we could go for this goddamn trip. The money's coming out of my goddamn paycheck. So you're going on a trip. Yes, I'm being forced to go out there to film the fucking podcast live. I told him I didn't want to. He told me the business was going to pay for it. And then he just said he's not he's taking it out of the check. Now, later, I asked his co-host Keemstar about this, and he seemed surprised. He said the show definitely pays for Boogie's mortgage, so I was confused. Later, Boogie was confronted on this by his co-host, and Boogie suggested maybe I edited the clip out of context. You told him that you weren't getting paid from this show. He played the fucking recording because he recorded you. Then why? Then uh, I understand that. Do you think people can edit things to be a little bit out of context? Well, if you. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, now that's wild, bro. This is how they get away with things. It's just straight up lying in your face. Someone else asks you about it and you just said, maybe that did not happen. He edit. What did he edit, bro? I didn't see no edits, number one. Number two, it's your voice. You confirmed it. You said it. It's right there. You see, here's the thing. If you didn't scam people, nobody would scrutinize you. Coffeezilla wouldn't give a F, bro. If you, whatever you do with your money, strippers, hookers, drugs, nobody cares, bro. Except maybe the government, okay? But when you start scamming people, you start stealing other people's money, other people are going to get interested because there are people that care about other people, which is a concept that you probably don't understand having zero empathy. My guy, you get me? Do you understand this? I'm not going to ask if he's dumb, bro. He's not dumb. That's why he's a scammer. He has a certain level of intelligence, but with zero empathy, you are nothing but a villain. Okay. A cartoon villain. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to come for you now. A lot of people that care about people. If he wants to play that game, here's the clip where Boogie directly says it. He says he's not getting paid. Boogie, you could have gotten through this month without the crypto scam, is what I'm saying. It, and I could have not paid my friend back for covering my medical bill. No, no, no. You, and I could no. Listen, 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 listen. Well, I've seen your, I, I've seen your bank statement, so I know, I know it's going to happen. I need to pay mortgage yes, on your mortgage, Monday. right? Which w should have come There's from no the podcast. More money coming in. There's no more money coming in between now and then. Which you should have come, it, but it should have come from the podcast. It's not. Right, because I'm not getting paid this month because I have to travel to do an on-location shoot. This guy is so manipulative. He has managed to move the story from the money's at Mercy Hospital right now to, well, I have $2,500 of medical expenses at some point in the month to, well, the reason I'm ending the month with $5,000 is because I'm such a great saver and I needed to pay my mortgage to, no, actually that mortgage was paid for too. The last point I want to address is the accusations he made against me on his show. He says he should have never taken a call with me. He says I recorded him without his consent, despite me telling him up front this was all going to be public and that I was approaching him for comment. This guy now acts like I tricked him. I should have never talked to CoffeeZilla to begin with. It was a joke, CoffeeZilla. Uh, oh, of course you fucking did. Much less the second fucking time. Then in this, by the way, CoffeeZilla records you. Without telling you he records it. Name true. a he YouTuber told, does do. He told no, me. he did in the first time. In the first time. Well, I think it's worth showing you then how he talked about me behind the scenes when he spoke with me. Wait, 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 wait. If you're talking about to Coffeezilla, if you're talking to Coffeezilla, trust me, he will record it. He is literally an investigator and he's investigating a scam. And you, my friend, my friend, you are a scammer. There's no way he's not recording it. Like, are you dumb, bro? No, 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 he's not dumb. He, he knows. He knows all this. This is how liars work. He knows he's getting recorded or that. It doesn't become an issue until, you know, he starts being scrutinized. Okay. Me, Because it was very different to what he's saying now. Now he's saying I'm taking him out of context, that he didn't know what was going on. Here's what he was saying back then. Amount of integrity. 
I really, really appreciate it. Hey, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, to be honest, it's I'm happy to do it. It's something that I really like people to know ahead of time. I mean, it's not. I I try to play a long game with YouTube. I'm not interested in like a quick video. Yeah. Like, who cares? Like, I'd rather you know you look better and it, you get it, your point across than. And it shows that you have the integrity that I believe you did. 110 percent it means it means so much many many youtubers would not have done that for me and you did and i think that's incredible and uh, i even no matter what you have to say in this video i'll never have a, a bad thing to say about you even on the show i you like even on the, the low cow podcast where my job is going to be to attack you back i'm just not going to do it i'm like no i think coffee was fair genuine okay okay thanks ben Thank appreciate yeah, it of course all I, right i really appreciate you thank you man have a, great have a good night have a good night all right so that was that now the point of me you know, following things like this is stay woke. It's about staying woke. Okay, keep your third eye open. <laughs> keep an eye. Keep an eye on everything. I always pay attention. I always pay attention to Coffeezilla. Okay, bro, remember NFTs? Remember NFTs? Back in the day, I had friends into NFTs and they were asking me, what do you think of NFTs? I said, don't do it. I said, don't do it. I said, it's a scam. At the time, NFTs were so popular that my own friends kind of made fun of me for hating on N NFTs. What now? What now, homie? Where are NFTs? What is it worth, bro? Now, I hate to say I told you so. This is to everyone. When, it, when, it, when something is popping, of course, people are going to get into a hysteria and they're going to think you're crazy because you're not into the hysteria. But like I said, stay woke, okay? You know, keep your mind updated. Keep your firmware updated. You are not an NPC. Keep your firmware updated. That's why I always watch internet investigations before I get into anything, all this crypto stuff. And I'm telling you as well, I want people to be informed, okay? Don't get scammed. Just, you know, keep your firmware updated, you know? It's not that hard. Just go on YouTube and watch, you know, people discussing it. Okay. Before you get into anything at all, if you have an influencer you worship and they're telling you, yo, this is going to, you know, this is going to go big. You get me? If they're telling you, you know, they're selling you something, don't go straight into it. Okay. Especially if you don't know nothing about it. Do your research. It's not that hard. Just go on YouTube. One of the accounts I follow definitely is CoffeeZilla, okay? So yeah, like I said, stay woke, okay? Keep your firmware updated. That's all for now. Peace. Yup, 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 yup.